Hey, hey, hey to all my Gemini viewers and subscribers. Welcome to your mid-month November reading. This reading is for anyone who's in a relationship, situation, or what have you. All right, so Gemini, I've already placed your cards down here. This reading in particular is your sensual reading, your reading in regards to also your significant other, their intentions, how they feel about you. So we kind of cracking the door down and we kind of getting in to see where your significant other's mind is at, where their heart is at, where their, you know, sensual desires are at, how they feeling about you, Gemini. So let's go ahead and hop into things. All right, so Gemini. The first thing that I'm seeing here is that a lot of you guys are dealing with earth signs and a lot of you guys are dealing with fire signs. So fire signs, we have Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and Moon Rising, all right? And then earth signs, we have Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo, Sun, Moon Rising. So what I am clearly seeing here, Gemini, is that a lot of you guys are building a friendship with your significant other. Not only is your partner, you know, your lover, but they're also your friend, your partner in crime. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you guys are pregnant right now or you're waiting to become pregnant, you know. Um, you're thinking about becoming pregnant or your significant other desires for you to become pregnant. You know, they may be trying to be patient as possible for the two of you to, you know, create this child that they secretly desire maybe they're kind of getting a little impatient okay and that's what i'm sensing for those of you who are in a deeper connection a marriage or a relationship this long term a committed relationship more so um for others of you what i'm seeing is that you're involved with someone um and the relationship that you have with this person is fairly new um for others of you you um, may have known this person that you're involved with. You may have known them for a long time, but it feels like the relationship isn't quite a relationship yet. It's, it's more so a friendship as opposed to a relationship. And it seems like some of you guys are losing patience or your significant other is losing patience with you. They, they're trying to be as patient as possible when it comes to the relationship and keeping it in this friendship phase. But maybe there, there, you know, there, there are some of you guys that are dealing with um, fire signs and earth signs in particular. They, it seems to me like they are. Some of some of them are trying to be patient, and they're wanting the relationship to stay in the friendship phase. They're trying to be patient as possible, while others of you guys are dealing with someone that you're trying to um, remain friends with. So that you can get to know this person and so that you're able to connect with them on a deep level, but they're becoming impatient. Someone is becoming impatient here. Someone is trying their best to be patient, but they're getting a bit impatient. Okay. So I do feel like there is um, that a lot of you guys are dating around right now and you're really just having a lot of fun and um, getting to know other people. I feel like a lot of Geminis right now are dating multiple people. It's not just one person that you're dating. It could be two or three people that you're dating right now. You could be, um, I see a little bit of online communication with someone, a little chit chat back and forth, messages, text messages between you and a fire sign in particular. Um, or I'm sorry, that's it. Well, a fire sign and an earth sign. Because we're seeing communication here. So um, on both ends with the earth sign and with the fire sign for my Gemini's. But um, it seems as though, it seems as though this relationship is more so a friendship. Okay. It's more so a friendship than anything else. Um, I do feel like this person that you're involved with, that there may be a trip or a vacation, or this person is either coming in town to see you and visit you, or you're going to be going to visit this person very soon. All right. It seems like the two of you guys have a really good time together. There may be some planning that's going on between you and this earth sign here um, about taking a trip together somewhere, going on some sort of adventure. Um, it seems to be text messages or emails that that are kind of, that's, that's, that seems to be the communication here is text messages and, and back and forth maybe on social media about um, 
taking a, taking a trip somewhere, going on some sort of adventure, all right? And um, it seems like these ideas or this, um, whatever it is that you guys are talking about doing, it's like in the planning phase. It's something that you plan to do together. But it's something, it seems to be something that you're going to possibly have to wait on for the time being. It seems that the both of you are waiting for this time to come. It seems like some of you guys are trying to make a spiritual connection with your significant other on a deeper level. But it, it feels like um, that sometimes you guys are worlds apart when it comes to certain ideals. Okay, that's what I'm saying. Spirit, give me some clarification in regards to the fortune card for my Gemini significant other. Okay, so that's not exactly the card I was hoping to see, Gemini. But with the Fox card, um, the Fox card usually represents some sort of deception or manipulation. Okay, so this person may be manipulating you to think that you guys are going to come together, you guys are going to take this trip, or you guys are going to... Uh, make this deeper connection here and you may have been waiting around for this connection to become stronger or for you and this person to meet up to go take a trip somewhere together however I feel like the person that you're dealing with can be conniving manipulative and even deceptive from time to time <clears throat> Which is interesting because when I'm looking at your significant other's emotions, there's a lot of blockage that's going on here. Because we have the, the mountain card and we have the hermit card. So it feels like <clears throat> your, your significant other is emotionally detached to a certain extent. And needing some time to kind of get their thoughts together. Spirit, give me some clarification for the mirror card. Yeah, something, something about traveling. There's some sort of plans that have to do with traveling, meeting up, coming together. And it feels like your significant other may be trying to um, make it seem as though maybe they're going to have the money to take this trip. Um, if they've been planning to take this trip, that they're putting things together to take this trip or for y'all to come together, um, for y'all to plan a baby together. Um Something that has to do with an adventure, y'all coming together or actually being together or taking the relationship to another level is what I'm feeling for a lot of you guys. It's not going to be the same situation for everybody, but there's, um, it seems to be a level of deception that's going on. Like maybe your significant other is talking the talk, but they're not quite walking the walk when it comes to um, this conversation that you guys may have had more than once. It could be that you guys have been chit-chatting and talking and even planning to make this certain situation come together, make it to, to, to manifest it. However, there's something that they, there's, they're being clever and conniving in some sort of way here.
The journal card can sometimes represent secrets here, okay? It seems like um, they're doing a lot of reflecting. And that they're also needing to look deeper into a certain situation before they actually um, take that leap of faith. It definitely feels like there's a connection and there's a friendship between the two of you. For those of you who are in a, in a newer relationship, a relationship that's fairly new, it does feel that there is a connection between there is a connection between the two of you here. But there's something that your significant other is in deep thought about here. There's like an emotional disconnect that's going on. Spirit, give me some clarification for Baba. Water. Some of you guys are dealing with water signs. Pisces. Cancer, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising. Yeah, your partner is closed off emotionally and there's there's a level of confusion that's going on in regards to this trip that y'all plan to take. And I feel it, I feel honestly in regards to the relationship as whole as a whole. So you're giving some clarification for Bob and the water. doing with somebody that haven't completely healed from a previous relationship and they're fearful there's something that's holding them back they're fearful that um, past issues from their previous relationships situations that they were in may occur in the relationship that they're they're in with you Or the situations that have previously taken place in your relationship may resurface. And so there's an emotional disconnect that's going on. Spirit, give me more clarification for Baba Water. It seems to be a very strong sexual attraction between the two of you. And there is opportunity for love here. However, it just feels like your significant other, your partner is emotionally detached for some reason. It's almost like a fear of being being intimate is what I'm getting. It's like almost like fear 
of becoming intimate, fear of making that connection. Fear that they may not be successful in the relationship. Hmm. There also it, it also feels like there are some doors that need to close so that the relationship can um can move forward. And this can be something that has taken place in the relationship where there hasn't been any closure or there hasn't been clarity. That there's like a lack of clarity in regards to like something that's, I feel like there's something that the two of you need to talk about so that plans can go through. However, Yeah, there's definitely blockages going on with your partner here, Gemini. Hmm. Yeah, it definitely feels like like Gemini that your significant other needs to overcome that they need to do some emotional healing and getting over anything that may have taken place in previous relationships or within the relationship that you guys have now because they're blocked. Their energy is blocked. Their emotions are blocked. And while you're thinking that everything is good and everything is cool, it feels like they're trying to hold, hold back how they're truly feeling here. They're holding back how they truly feel. It's like they need a break. They need some time to think about something. All right, spirit. What does Gemini's significant other secretly desire behind closed doors? So again, just like the Libra's head, you have a lot of air energy that's showing up. We have the Six of Swords and then we have the Nine of Flesh Swords. Okay, Six of Swords represents someone feeling as though they've been stabbed in the back. They've been betrayed. Okay, it also has to do with traveling somewhere. All right. With the Nine of Flesh Swords, this is worry and concern, lack of sleep. All right. And this could be due to sexual frustrations, you know. There may be concern again about the plans that you guys have been trying to manifest coming together, all right? Or some sort of deception, feeling betrayed and backstabbed in the relationship. We have the page of testicles, all right? Masculine energy is definitely taking control of feminine energy here. Okay, because we have, with the Six of Flesh Swords, we have the masculine energy, you know, seducing the woman, taking control, penetrating the woman on a boat, okay, on water. And then we have the Nine of Flesh Swords where the masculine energy, again, is taking complete control here. And with the Page of Testicles, again, Masculine energy is taking complete control here. All right, so with the page of testicles, I definitely feel like there's a need for breakthrough. And 
there's a bit of sexual frustration that's going on. So Gemini, you might have to take control, get your man or your woman to open up emotionally because clearly your significant other's energy is blocked. And it feels like there's a desire and a need to come together, but there is definitely something that's just holding your partner back. Okay. All right, so that is your reading. I hope that it can help you. You stay blessed, stay well, and I say Gemini's.